if we are a party that wants to be independent, a government that wants to be independent, we need to be able to resolve our own challenges ourselves. Uh, okay. if, we're in, if we're independent, we would not have a foreign government, for example, okay. coming in and, and vetoing our legislation. Okay, Hamza, the point is, of okay. course, that you, we, of course. we have that. Video. You described Westminster as a foreign government vetoing this legislation whenever you were speaking about it last night. What does that say to the people that you still well, need to be persuaded well, no, of that's independence? In, in, that's incorrect, actually. What, what I was doing was responding uh, to a counter-argument being put by one of my colleagues, which was that we should act as though we're an independent country. Uh, I was making the point, we're not an independent country, and if we were an independent country, we wouldn't have another government, a foreign government, uh, for example, uh, uh, striking our legislation. That just wouldn't happen uh, in a, in a, if you're an independent does, state. Does, does using language like that, though, really do much to persuade people who haven't yet been persuaded? persuaded by, by independence to move to your cause? Uh, two things. One thing, it is a fact, of course, that if you are independent and another government is a foreign government. And secondly, I don't understand why you view the word foreign as a dirty word. Um, it's not a dirty word. People are uh, foreign. People are foreigners in our country.